Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Anton, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and showing you guys how to set up CTGP Revolution for the Wii. This is a ROM hack expansion of Mario Kart Wii that adds content and tweaks to make the experience an ultimate one. Let's get started. Mario Kart Wii is a fantastic game, one of my favorites in fact. The game is a joy to play with its many tracks, characters, and play styles. But what if it could be bigger? Well, that's where CTGPR comes in. CTGP Revolution is an unofficial mod to Mario Kart Wii, adding over 200 brand new tracks to the game, as well as a load of extra features. It was developed by Mr. Bean, 35,000 VR, and Chatters with the help of many other track authors, translators, and testers. There are many tracks in this game, some are well designed, and others are a nightmare. It seems that the bad ones get replaced by good ones in updates, so that's pretty good. Some of my favorite custom tracks are Marvel Towers, Boshi Skate Park, Wario Shipwreck, Suzuka Circuit, Canyon Run, Sea Stadium, Dragonite's Island, and a whole ton more, cause there are 200 tracks in this game. And also included in those 200 tracks are retro tracks from previous Mario Kart games. Some of these ports and remakes are really well done, and some of them look so official that you would have never realized that they weren't in the game originally. Some of my favorites include Mario Kart 7 Makawuhu, DS Luigi's Mansion, GBA Luigi Circuit, GCN Wario Coliseum, and N64 Koopa Troopa Beach. Because of the sheer amount of courses, I haven't played them all, so there are probably a lot more that are really good that I haven't even touched yet. With all this content in the game, you don't have to unlock anything. Everything is available right when you start the game. For some of the extra features, there's finally a speedometer, so you can see the speed that you're going. And the game also has 200cc available, just like Mario Kart 8. So if you want something super fast, then go right ahead. Wimify is built into the game, so you don't need to download it or set it up or anything. If you want to play on some random tracks, it's a great feature, and it's really addicting since you really don't know what track will be picked next. It's a great way to try a bunch of the courses on CTGPR. Countdown mode is a timed version of the online classic mode. You have to try and hit people with shells and bananas to try and increase your time, and whoever lasts the longest wins. I didn't find this mode particularly fun, I find the traditional classic Mario Kart experience a lot better. But at least it's there if you want something different from the traditional Mario Kart. And on top of that, you can also download ghost data from other players to practice, which I think is great because the amount of courses that are in this game, obviously you want to practice some of them, or some you just want to race against a ghost data to see if you can beat it for fun, so it's really great. Now, how do you download this stuff? Well, first, let's start with the no homebrew method for people who don't have homebrew. If you want the homebrew method, then just go down to the description. There'll be some timestamps there as well. Now, there will be a link to visit the CTGP Revolution website if you wish to go there and download the files from there instead and go through the wizard, but I'll keep it simple. All you need is a Wii with version 4.3. You need the disc of Mario Kart Wii and an SD card, at least one gigabyte of free space available. Now head down to where it says download CTGPR and you'll find a mega link where you can then download the latest version. And if it's not the latest version, don't worry because the game automatically updates. Now for the next thing you'll need is you need to go to letter bomb. So you'll find that in the description also. Then you need to enter your system menu version and your Mac address, which can be found in the Wii system setting. Scroll one to the right, hit internet, then console information. And there is your Wii Mac address. Enter that in, select bundle Hackney installer, enter the captcha, and select either the red wire or the blue wire. It does not matter which one you click. Now that you'll have these two files that you've downloaded, all you're gonna do is extract them both. If you have a Mac, just like me, you can get the unarchiver from the app store 
and if you have Windows, you can get WinRAR or 7-Zip. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the private folder inside the Letterbomb folder and put it to your SD card. I'm just gonna put it right there for now. Once the other file has been finished extracting, what you're gonna do is, because it's a large folder, it'll take some time, you're gonna take everything that's inside it and just drag and drop it. So we can take all this stuff right here and put it into our SD card. And that's pretty much how it should look like. Now you can eject your SD card and pop it right into your Wii. Now what you're gonna do is go to the bottom right corner and click on the Wii message board. Now you're gonna click on the red letter with a bomb. If you don't see it there, it may arrive a few days in the past or the future, so you have to look for it. Once you click on it, you'll see some really weird stuff. Don't worry, this is not gonna harm your Wii in any way. Next, CTGPR will just automatically boot, and then you'll have to start going through the initial setup. It may take a while to update and get everything ready, and it will have to install itself in your SD card as is the first time you're gonna be playing it. So don't worry, that will take a while. And if you wanna play it on the Wii Fi servers, you'll have to register and it will take a couple of days until you can finally play. Now for the homebrew method, which is a lot more convenient and I find very easy to set up. But you need to have the homebrew channel in order to do this. First, all you want to do is go down to the description where it says the homebrew section and download CTGPR from the mega link, which is the same from the one in the no homebrew tutorial. Now what you want to do is go where it says apps folder, take the CTGPR folder and put it in the apps folder on your SD card. If you don't have an apps folder, just create it. Now you want to do is take the boot.elf file, put it in the root, as well as the CTGPR folder, which houses most of the files that make up the game. Then what you're going to do is put the revolution folder and there you go, it should look something like this. You can put the readme text if you want, but you don't really need to. And there you go. All you need to do now is put it into your SD card slot on your Wii and open up the homebrew channel where you're gonna see an application that says CTGPR. From there, you'll start the initial setup and everything. You can also install the CTGPR channel also, which looks really cool and it's a lot more convenient than going through the homebrew channel every single time. Anyway guys, that brings us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, leave a like on the video also, and do comment down below if you have any, any difficulties with this game or any issues, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one.